This is Patrice Wendling with IMG Medical Media at the American College of Cardiology speaking with Dr. Andre LeMay, who presented results from the coronary trial showing no difference in the co-primary endpoint. There'll be some longer five-year follow-up coming, but your early subgroup analysis showed no group that benefited more than the other from off-pump or on-pump technique. What should the clinician surgeon uh, take away from this? How do they personalize care? Well, I think the first message is both techniques are good. So we, maybe we should start having that battle of which technique is better and agree that they're both very good and very efficient and safe. Uh, however, I think the surgeon should uh, look at a patient he has in front of him or her and decide of which uh, secondary outcomes or, or, or potential complication that you want to avoid uh, with the patient that you have. Are you dealing with a robust uh, young man or are you t dealing with a frail old lady? Uh, totally different patients and their complications after surgery are different. So you may want to be smart and wise and adjust your surgical, uh, uh, your surgical treatment according to the patient that you have. The advantage, and, and, and as the message of my colleague, is that you should learn to be able to do both technique every day so that you're more versatile and, and you're basically more efficient and more it's safer for your patients. Uh, it's no doubt that the off pump is a more difficult technique. You have to actually lift the heart and do the bypasses well, the heart is beating. Uh, compared to on pump, well, the heart is stopped and flat, and you can it's much. So it's technically much more difficult. So uh, most of the re revascularization that we saw in the trial uh, came uh, in the first 24, 48 hours. So it was obviously a, a difficulty in the technique uh, that uh, required for a graft to be redone, or sometimes a vessel that was not uh, amenable off pump has to be done and, and be uh, received a stent in the, uh, in the cat lab. In the scenario that you just presented, the clinical scenario, what would the older woman uh, get? Uh, would that be the uh, off my, uh, my, pump? My personal choice for an older, frail woman uh, is to go off pump because I want to avoid blood transfusion. I want to avoid uh, massive volume to be given to her, which will lead to prolonged intubation and prolonged stay in the ICU. I want to do that. I want to uh, fix her and send her home as soon as possible to avoid all these complications. In a younger man, um, depending on the patient, of course, but if you're dealing, let's say, with a younger man who's diabetic and smoker and you have smaller vessels, uh, you want to have one operation in his life, you want to make it perfect, uh, then you may want to choose to, to go, uh, to the, go on pump for that. And there's also physical issues, like uh, the size of the heart, the size of the patient. Like if the heart is deep, is a big heart, it's down deep in a very large patient, they're very difficult to do off pump. So in that scenario, you just may want to go on pump and, and make it better for your patient. This is Patrice Wenling with IMG Medical Media at the American College of Cardiology meeting in Chicago.